Hello, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem. A squared minus b squared equals to 15. And to find the value of a and b, here we have a squared minus b squared equals to 15. Where a and b are natural number from here. Then here is follows the value of two squares, and we can write it as a plus b multiplied by a minus b and from here this is equals to 15 so 15 here can be written just as in two ways as 15 times 1 and also we can also write it as 5 times 3 and from here this second bracket the first is bigger than the second that is a plus b now is expected to be bigger than a minus b so from here now the first case here we have a plus b will be equal to 15 so a plus b equals to 15 and a minus b will be equals to 1 so for the second case, for the second case, we have a plus b is equal to 5, so it is bigger, then a minus b is equal to 3. Now let's solve this first case here simultaneously. These two equations we can add from here to eliminate b. So a plus a will give us 2a equals to 15 plus 1, that's 16. Now divide both sides by 2. Then it cancels out. Then a here is equal to 8. Then we can use any of these two equations to get our b. From the first equation, which is a plus b now equals to 15. Since a is equal to 8, that's 8 plus b equals to 15. Take 8 here now. That means b equals to 15 minus 8, which is we have b now equals to 7 from there and therefore we can see from the first case here that a comma b a which is 8 then comma 7 b then from the second side here we also solve here simultaneously so when we sum this as well this gives us 2a equals to it from here and when we divide also both sides by 2 so it cancel out and this is a equals to 4 similarly we can use any of the equation from the first one which is a plus b equals to 5 a is 4 now plus b equals to 5 now take b take 4 there so from here we have b equals to 5 minus 4 so b is equals to 1 here and the second case here a comma b equals to 4 comma 1 then from what is given which is a square minus b square this is equals to 15 let's check with the first case here if this will satisfy the given problem so we have 8 square now minus 7 square is equals to 15 from here the a squared is 8, that's 64, minus 7 squared and 10, 7, that's 49, is equal to 15 from here. Then we have here, 64 minus 49, this is 15, which is equal to 15. So the left hand side equals to right hand side. And from here, we can conclude that this satisfies the given problem. And also, in the same way, you can check for the second solution as well. So from here, a square minus b square, a is 4, so we have 4 square minus b square, which is 1 square, is equal to 15 from here. Then we have 4 square, that's 16, 4 times 4, then minus 1 square, 1 times 1, still 1, is equal to 15. 16 minus 1 is, of course, 15 which is equal to 15. Also left hand side equal to right hand side. And here also satisfies the given uh, problem. Thank
thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe for more exciting videos turn on the notification bell share this video give a thumbs up and put your comment in the comment section see you in the next class and bye